In this Windows 10 Beginner's Guide, we'll show you how to use the built-in Windows Security app to keep your computer safe and files secure from cyber attacks, viruses, and other types of malware. Step-by-step, step, we'll go through the key security features, showing you how to perform each task. Without further delay, let's jump right on in. To begin, let's open the Windows Security app. The easiest way to do this is to go to the notification area of your taskbar, look for the Windows Security Shield icon, and click on it. If you don't see it, click on the up arrow to show your hidden icons. Another way to open Windows Security is to go to the search bar in the lower left and type Windows Security. When it shows up, click on it. When it opens, you'll be on the home page. Here you'll get alerts if any action is needed to secure your computer. If all is good, it will say no action needed. You'll see that there are seven categories listed for you to examine and control. Here's a quick overview. Virus and threat protection is where you can access the settings for the Microsoft Defender antivirus. Account protection includes settings to secure your account. Firewall and network protection contains information about your network connections and Windows Defender firewall. App and browser control includes additional settings to protect your device and data from malicious code. Device security has information and settings for built-in device protection. Device performance and health, as the name suggests, displays information about the health and performance of your computer. And family options contain settings for parents to manage their child's online experiences. On a regular basis, the Defender Antivirus will do an automatic scan running in the background, checking for viruses and other malware. For those times you need to do a quick manual scan, click on Virus and Threat Protection and click on Quick Scan. This will check common areas on your computer for malware. I won't do this now, but when it's finished, it will let you know if any threats were detected, the scan time, and how many files were scanned. After doing a quick scan, if you still feel malware is still lurking on less common areas of your computer, you should do a full scan. From here, go to Scan Options and select Full Scan. At the bottom, click on Scan Now. I'll warn you that if you have an older computer, this can sometimes take hours to complete. Let's go through the other options. Custom Scan works great to select individual folders on your computer. After clicking on Scan Now, you can choose the folder or location. Your other choice is to perform an offline scan. While Windows 10 is running, Defender might encounter issues removing certain types of malware on your computer. Choosing this option and Scan Now will restart your computer, performing the scan prior to launching Windows 10. Let's go back to the top of this page, and below Quick Scan, click the link Protection History. This page will give you more information about any possible detections, and if necessary, any available actions. Clicking on Filters will narrow down the history for you. Your choices are Recommendations, Quarantined Items, Cleaned Items, Blocked Actions, and severity. We're back on the home page for virus and threat protection. If you ever have a program that won't install or update, sometimes the antivirus is the reason why. To disable the Defender antivirus temporarily, in the section Virus and Threat Protection Settings, click on Manage Settings. In real time protection, toggle the switch off. Like I said, this is only temporary. The next time your computer reboots, it will turn back on automatically. To protect your data from ransomware attacks, Windows 10 has a feature called Controlled Folder Access. To enable it, scroll down. In the section Controlled Folder Access, select Manage Controlled Folder Access. If the switch is off, toggle it to turn it on. Below that, selecting Protected Folders will let you view and add additional folders. And if you want to allow a program or app access to your controlled folder, select Allow an app through controlled folder access. To exclude scanning locations for Defender Antivirus, let's go back to the previous page. Below the section, Controlled Folder Access, in Exclusions, select Add or Remove Exclusions. Clicking on Add an Exclusion gives you the choice of File, Folder, File Type, and Process. Let's jump into a new category and go into Account Protection. There's not much here. You see a tiny green check mark next to Microsoft Account, Windows Hello, and Dynamic Lock. You're good to go. 
If not, you'll see an alert to fix the issue. Clicking on either link below Windows Hello or Dynamic Lock will open the same window where you can choose your sign-in options. If you scroll down the page, this is where you can set up Dynamic Lock. When activated with a paired device like your phone, your PC will automatically lock when you're out of range. To enable or disable your network firewall, go into Firewall and Network Protection. Click on the active firewall, in this case that would be Private Network. Then just toggle the switch to turn it on or off. Beware that disabling your firewall leaves your system compromised to unauthorized access. Unless you have a good reason, like having another firewall program, testing network installations, or setting up a honeypot for hackers, it's best to leave it turned on. And down below, leave the box next to blocks all incoming connections, including those in the list of allowed apps, unchecked to avoid any issues with programs running on your computer that communicate back and forth with outside servers. Good case examples to block incoming connections is if your computer was actively being attacked by others or you're on a sketchy public wireless hotspot. To protect your computer from potentially dangerous apps, files, websites, and downloads, let's go into App and Browser Control. Click Reputation-Based Protection Settings. These settings you can turn on or off include Check Apps and Files, Smart Screen for Microsoft Edge, potentially unwanted app blocking, and scroll down here a bit, and smart screen for Microsoft Store apps. My recommendation is to have each of these turned on for added security. When enabled, Defender Antivirus will help to protect your computer from these threats. We'll now go into Device Security and take a look at Core Isolation, which adds extra security against high-level attacks. Click on Core Isolation Details. Off by default, Turn on Memory Integrity. You may run into this situation where it can't be enabled. It will say below, resolve any driver incompatibilities and scan again. So go down here, click the link that says Review Incompatible Drivers. On this PC, it indicates that there are nine to be resolved. I'll do that later. If you're having the same issue, try updating your drivers for each listed so you can enable Memory Integrity. Let's go into Device Performance and Health. In the Health Report section, it will alert you to any issues with your system and offer recommendations to fix any problems. These are all green right now, so all is good. Green indicates no issues. Yellow will indicate a recommendation, and red is a warning that immediate action is required. Before heading into the settings for the Windows Security app itself, let's check out the final category, Family Options. Unlike the other categories mentioned, this category does not let you make any changes in the app. Instead, when clicking on Family View Settings or View Devices, it will open a web page with access to your Microsoft account to manage your family settings. I'm not at liberty to show you this, so let's move on. We'll now take a look at the settings in the Windows Security app. In the lower left corner, click on Settings. In Security Providers, select Manage Providers. If you have another program installed other than Windows Defender Antivirus or Firewall, this is where you can choose it from the list. If you just have the default security programs that come with Windows 10 like I do on this PC, you won't see any others listed. For web protection, ignore it. It's pretty much useless. At the bottom of this page is a link to find security apps in the Microsoft Store. This is what the store has to offer you for security. If you're thinking this is pathetic, you'll get no argument from me. For those of you that follow this channel, you know there are better choices than these. Back on the Settings homepage, below Notifications, select Manage Notifications. You can customize these if you want. I leave these all enabled. Unlike some other apps and programs, these notifications are more helpful than irritating. Thanks for watching. To continue on with the Tech Gumbo experience, to expand your mind, do check out our other videos. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up, share with others, subscribe and ring that bell notification icon so you don't miss our latest tips and tricks for Windows 10 and other tech related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.